and don't listen. Listen, but do the opposite. That's okay. No, you must be, you must be wise, inshallah, wise with wisdom. Because Marana was saying, Audhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. He was saying yesterday, Sayyidina, that we mentioned this these days because it's a very important, important subject that the ladies, they are approaching their Lord through the aspect of Jamal, of beauty. You know, men and women, or gentlemen and ladies, they are, they, they are equal, to, to, so to say. They are equal. They, are both, they both have a soul. Because people are saying Gleichberechtigung. What's in English? Gleichberechtigung? E equality, you know, they say it must be equal, men and women are equal, you know. They think uh, the ladies also they must fight in the army, that means equality. Mashallah. Also boxing, they must box. But so far we didn't have the world championship in boxing between a man and a woman, not yet. <laughs> but we, we, we must have, because they are equal. Must have. Yes, they are so foolish, and in reality they are very equal, very equal, completely equal, because both have a soul, and both are coming from their Lord, and they are going to their Lord. And they have the same possibilities, both of them. Yes. Ladies, they go more from the aspect of Jamal, what I was saying, beauty. They are beautiful. And they have that beauty and they are, they can relax in their beauty and they are receiving, they are receiving. They are the earth. Receiving. Receiving and giving fruits. And their aspect is that beauty. And Allah loves the beauty. Allah Jamirun wa Yahibu Jamal. Allah is beautiful and He loves the beauty. That is why the Prophet وسلم, he loved the ladies. Where are you, gentlemen? Where's your Islam? You are a Muslim? You are following the son of the Prophet? I'm speaking to myself, I'm not speaking to you. I have a monologue here, you know, and, but you are listening also, doesn't matter. Yes, and men, the men, let's say men, let's say gentlemen, they are going to their Lord, approaching through the aspect of Kamal of perfection. They have to perfect themselves. What they have to perfect? They have to perfect their character. For approaching their Lord, they have to perfect their character. For dying, before they die, as the Prophet was recommending to his companions, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and whom he was recommending for that, what is the meaning? Your ego must die. Your bed a 
and useless and harmful traits of your character must be eliminated. Eliminated when there is elimination of one trait of character, it is replaced automatically, so to say, by a good trait of character. Mainly it's that it is eliminated and it results and culminates in the elimination of yourself because you can't exist in front of your sheikh. No. No. can't speak in front of your sheikh. What do you want to say? Yes, this is what the sheikh is trying to say to us and they are trying to say to us. And so that is how I can't, we are not speaking about this. We are on a different struggling in the kindergarten where we are Busy in the, how do you say, wie heißt das? Sandkasten. Sandbox. Huh? Sandbox. Yeah, we are sitting in the sandbox. Yeah, because it's very good as example, sandbox is not a real, we make, don't make real houses. No, we make sandbox houses. <laughs> you know? Backe, Backe, Kuchen, der Bäcker hat gerufen und so weiter. <laughs> Sandbox and then the other child also, he makes another sand, he, must, he makes another castle, you make your castle, then you smash the castle of the other child. No, oh, no, your castle must not be, only my castle. And, and you fight for your castle and this is our condition <laughs> at the moment, according to Molana Sheikh, when he was addressing us, in the sofa, oh, foolish ones, <laughs> yeah, like this. This is our station, doesn't matter. We are, he is saying what to do, and he is uh, giving important sign how it is the relations between ladies and gentlemen. If she is a beauty and the one in, if she is in peace, if she makes zikr, you know, if she is in, in, in if she managed to, with her spirituality, that is her only task, as it is the only task of the man also to look for her spirituality. Look for his zikr, look for his, for his meditation, look for his peace in his heart. Men, he must go outside. He has to go outside to work for his family. He is responsible. She is the earth. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. She is receiving. You are, oh gentlemen, you are the wind and the rain and the sun. The nature which is giving an impact to the earth to give fruits. That is your earth. You are active. She is not active. She doesn't need to be active. Shaitan saying to her, ladies, go and make career. Go outside and work. Be equal with men. You must also driving a big bus and uh, tank in the army also and boxing and foxing everything you must do go outside and shaitan is saying this to lose your spirituality completely to lose it yes? and to get ugly instead of being beautiful 
they are getting ugliness from this ugly and dirty world. That is the main thing from Shaitan. And she doesn't need to do this. She is receiving and she is giving birth. She is giving fruits. Not only children, no, no. There's other fruits. There's other fruits of spirituality. Lucky that one, that husband, who is active outside, he must do this job. And when he comes home after, and it is difficult to make that job. Today is difficult. The Prophet was saying in the end of time, it will be so difficult to earn your rizq, your money, that it is, com that ji it's like jihad. Like, like the war. What is better in Arabic? Better. Huh? Harb, another word. Huh? Another one. With R. Rad? 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 No. They went to the battle. What? There's a, there's a word. No, no. No. Doesn't matter, huh? Ghazwa, ah, mashallah, not ra, ra. Who was saying this? Oh, Mustafa, mashallah, Ghazwa, Ghazwa, yes. Ghazwa, very difficult, this battle, very difficult. But he was saying, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that to make your job, this time out it is same degree. Not easy. Only when you come home and you enter your house and your wife is there, if she prepared it by her spirituality, you will find a spiritual atmosphere. You know, you come home and immediately you, you may relax, like you come to a makam, for instance. Yes. Like you come to, when you come to the Makam of Malana, you know, you are <laughs> relaxing, you know, there is a strong spiritual Like this, maybe in the home. Yes. And if she is smiling to her husband, although she doesn't feel to smile because she just had the three children and she is totally nervous also. And she may, when you come home, also she may throw this child to you and say, ah, you useless one, now you come, take the child and leave me in. <laughs> she, she may do like this. Then angels, they are cursing. There is a curse. You have to say this. There is a curse. There is no happiness, there is a curse. From angels. They are not saying, oh, the, look, yeah, Allah, this lady, very good lady. She, no, no, they are cursing. Not good. If she managed to smile, he's coming home and she say, ah, mashallah, ah, salam alaikum, salam alaikum, peace be upon you. Even she doesn't feel it, doesn't matter. Allah makes her to feel it immediately. But she says this. And if she managed to smile, angels from here up to the throne of Allah praying for her and asking blessings for her all the time without interruption. That is the truth. That is the hug. And that's one example. <laughs> so the man, he must be active. He has to complete himself. He must be perfect. He needs to be perfect. Ladies, there's no, no need. It's not, they also, in another way, through their beauty, but they already, they have this. And you have to perfect yourself because Morana was always saying, sometimes she was saying to our brothers when they visit Cyprus and the ladies, the, her, the wives, they didn't have the chance to go also. So he went alone, let's say, was very often the case. Then the, the husband, they were, they were worrying about their ladies. They said, my, my wife went to also to make bayat and so with you, and what shall we do? And then he said, always he was saying, 
you have bayat with me? He said, yes. Then your wife, she has bayat. She has also bayat through you. What's the meaning? Meaning is that that the man, his heart is for Allah only. Heart of the human being belongs to Allah. That is the only place where he can be contained, as he said himself, Jalal Jalala. He said, nothing can contain me but the heart of the human being. This is true. And for men, they have this responsibility. They have their heart only for Allah. And so they are with the Sheikh. The Sheikh is the first reality to go through and their heart with him. And it is all right and it is good. The ladies, they are, it's, it's generally, we speak generally. It's not, not everyone. And there's exceptions, you know. Now it's all, all exceptions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, they are, but, but generally speaking, and how Allah created it was like this, that the lady may approach to her Lord through the husband, through the heart of the husband. If she loves the husband, it's enough, so to say. She makes her best for the husband, for the family, the best. By this, she will, she will, as the Prophet said, paradise already under their feet. That means she reached her goal only through this. No need to work something, to do something, to get better, to work, to perfection, this, that, to, no. But he must. He must perfect himself to reach a nearness to, to, the, to her, to his to his Lord, he must perfect himself. And since she is dependent on that, yes, she will know when you are on track or not. Maybe she doesn't know, not realizing with her mind and everything, as she can say, yeah, you know, this, this happened, that happened. No, but she feels when you are not on track, and that is the reason why she is arguing with you and angry with you and making discussion. Discussion. She making munakasha with you, saying you useless one, you this one. And you don't know why she is saying because there is no issue actually. There is no reason really. And also she doesn't know why she is saying if she is really thinking about there's no, but there is a reason. There is a reason. Because he is not on track. She's pushing him to perfection. Yes. She's pushing him to perfection. He has to perfect. You are, you are a gentleman, you have to take this. Yes, you, you must take. If he is throwing something to you, take it. Say thank you very much. <laughs> you bring me nearer to my Lord. When I carry this in a gentle way, in a good way, gentle and like a man, not like a child or like another lady. No. Like a man. If you are not carrying this, you are not man. You are a child or lady. We are ladies. There is no man. Except Malik. Sheikh Malik. <laughs> yes. And then, this is the situation. So you have to, now you have to be active 
as we said, if she is the earth and the beauty, we may say she is the rose. Marana was very often he was drawing this example to us. He was saying, they are a rose, they are roses, they are beautiful. Rose is one, maybe the most beautiful flower, no? And amazing, you know, amazing creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rose, the smelling of the rose. Rose is there that you smell it. And that you enjoy it. And that you see the beauty. That is a rose. You have to... Ladies, they are like these roses. And you must be active. You must not sleep. But you have to smell. And to be active. And to give value to that beauty, to that beautiful being. You have to value it and to show it also. She need, needs to be, if nobody is running to the rose, the rose is very sad. Yeah. When the nightingale is singing about the rose, about the beauty of the rose, very happy. Yes, you have to be active, you have to And it's written in the Holy Quran that they are your field, ladies. They are your field, no? It's written. Yes. So you have to approach and you have to, to look and to be active. And, mashallah, and, uh, yes. It is important. Give gifts sometimes. You know? Gifts and so many things you may think about and you may you may do that is important so that you not say in the end when you are dying oh i didn't uh, when you realize truth and you we realize these things maybe that uh, maybe I don't know, some, some time of our life, maybe in the end of our life. Then you will regret that you are not, that you were not giving the right to your wife. <coughs> because she has a right. It's a right. She is created like this. Everything has hug. There is hug. And you must, as a human being, give hug to everyone and everything. Hug over to Allah. First to Allah. He has the most right. Yes, Prophet, your Sheikh, your family, wife and husband, your children. Yes. Now, there is a psychologist uh, recently coming up, he's getting famous. His name is Rafael Bonelli. I, I recommend, as we, as we were recommending our pills, <laughs> our nourished supplements, very good. Uh, very good ones. We found also a psychologist. You can find in YouTube, Bonelli, Rafael Bonelli. It's a psychologist I never heard Anyone, any psychologist saying this, what he say. He speaks like Maulana, only in different words. He's saying, he's speaking about order, to make order in your life. It's very important. This means health, if you have order. He say, order is pri to set priori uh, priorities. And he's saying that the transcendental, the spiritual, thing, the transcendental, he calls it, is the most priority for a human being, up first. Saying God is the most important. In other words, he cannot say uh, mm -hmm. same language, you know, but he's saying transcendental 
first. Second, marriage. Allah Akbar. It's like the Prophet. Allah Akbar. First. Then he said, Azawaj Nusfidin. Marriage is half of the way. Yes, it's the most important thing. If you manage your marriage, you manage everything. Yes, and he was saying that the next number number two in your life, in the life of your being, must be the marriage. Saying that the Ehe, he's speaking, mashallah. He's a Austrian, also he's from Austria, I think, from Vienna. And then comes a long time nothing, he say. I don't know if it's like this, but he say. And then the children. <laughs> Yeah, like this. He, and then comes the job. After the children comes the job. First the marriage, then the children, then the job. And the job is only to, as a service, not as a career. You know, I have a job as a career. And they come and they are, have burned out. They come to this man, he's a psychological doctor. They come to him with a burnout. <laughs> Ladies also, they make career, they don't marry. When they are 40, come with a burnout. Everyone burn out. It's very modern uh, sickness now. You see? No. You are serving job for what? For the family. You find the people, they are saying, I have no time, I have a job. I have no, I cannot be with my family. Because I work for my family. Yeah, who don't work for your family, be with your family. The reason that you work is that you want to be with your family. <laughs> Give to your family. They say, I have no time, I have no time because I work for my family. <laughs> you see the schizophrenic thinking of people of this center. Like this he's speaking, I, I advise. <coughs> To listen to him, it's, uh, it's very, mashallah. Anyone looking for a psychologist, this is one. Yes, he is a believer. You must be a believer. Freud, Sigmund Freud, was atheist. Hmm. Yeah, he was atheist. He was foolish himself. But he couldn't treat himself. Uh, because he was a boss, so there was no one to, to treat him, to make treatment on him. <laughs> so he was like this. Yes. And what we are saying, Medad Ya Sayyidi, is you must work on yourself. And why is it that the marriage is the most um, very so important, like it's half the way? The way Deen is everything for us, no? Deen. We are sitting here, all of us, because of Deen, of the way. We are coming from Allah, going for Allah. No? It's all of us, it's our subject. From everyone. Half of that, to manage it, is a marriage, Prophet saying. Why he saying? Because you have the other saying, Al Tariqa, Sokwa, Wa Khair, Fi Jamia. The good lies in the jamaat and the relation between brothers and between sisters, between brothers and sisters, between human beings, and uh, intensive brothers and sisters. Yes, in the tarikat, we have relations. When we're sitting here, when we meet, when we make zikr, juma, this, we visit each other, we have relations. And there's issues, sometimes there's problems and offending and this and that, discussion, yeah, there is something by which you will see your ego and learn, yes, and the jamaat also. There is a reason. Morana was always saying the dargah is a training place. It's a training place. There are things are happening. They are beating each other, even killing, almost killing sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and with Morana is full-time training and full speed and full power. It's not a nice dagger, everyone is so nice, you are very nice, uh, yes, um, so 
I am such an obedient servant and so modest. I am very modest. I show you how modest I am. Yes. Very modest because I know in Tarikat you must be modest. I'm so modest. I'm not speaking in front of Jay. No one. No. Yes, okay. Sheikh is tickling you and you are coming up. All your ego, all your beast and scorpion and snake and dragon is coming up. You will, you will not die before that. And you are lucky if it's coming up. Because if it's coming up, you can kill it. If it's not coming up, you can't kill it. So this is very uh, good. Khair uh, fi Now, the most intensive relation not compare it, to compare with brothers. I can, I have my brother, but I can, we have relation, but I can hide. I can hide something. Before my brothers, I hide something. Because if they would know me, they were never speaking with me. And never listen to me also. So they don't know me. Yes, we know each other certain way, but it's not, it's, there's so many things hidden in front of us which is also wisdom and is good. But in marriage, it's not hidden. No. Marriage is open. Your wife knows you. She knows you. You cannot. <laughs> she cannot, you cannot escape. She knows you directly. Uh, your weakness point, and also she uses it sometimes. If she likes to use it, she uses it. She makes you to blow up. <laughs> She, she, Molana is also inspiring her, and he's laughing behind the curtain when she is, he is sending her to you, putting the, pressing the button, the right one, and you are, ooh, you are up, your dragon is out, your fire is coming, and you are burning yourself, and you're burning her, and you're burning your children, you're burning everything. Yes, it's a terrible thing to leave out your anger. Yes, very dangerous. There is a time when you are asked to be gentlemen. You see, you have to, what Marana was saying, swallow your anger. Also the old psychologists like Freud and these people, they say you must come out with your anger. Everything must come out. Uh, be honest, take it out. You are dirt, you are idiot, idiot, you see, you are anger, useless anger, fire, bring it out, they say, these foolish ones. No, you have to swallow it, keep it down, and trans, of course, you must digest. You have to digest it. If you don't digest, then you get sick. But you must digest. It must be transformed. You have to transform it into this fire of anger, is harmful and you have to transform it into the fire of Iman. It's also like a fire. It's two fires. One fire, very harmful. That fire of Iman, it is useful, beautiful, and it is healthy and gives you health and gives you blessings. You have to digest. You swallow it. Uh, Prophet was saying, when you are angry, sit down. What is the real meaning to sit down? Is to breath. Take the breath. When you take the breath, you may have, you start to think. Think it over. Think about it. Think. What is your part? The best thing is to think. What is your? Why? What is the reason that this discussion, this event happened? What is your part in it? What is your bad part in it? Can you change it? Can you correct it? Yes. For that you have to look. Don't say your wife is like this and like that and like that and I know her and she... <laughs> you will never change her. No. Also the lady, she can never change the man. She cannot change. No. Changing, you can only yourself. Changing, you can only yourself through this. And the lady or anyone else from who tests you, there is a test, there is your chance. If you have no test, you have no chance. Yes, there is, there is, and 
because they know each other and they cannot hide. It is the most intensive relationship. That is one of the reasons. There's many reasons, but there is one of the reasons that the Prophet said, Nusfidin, it's half the way, the marriage. So, gentlemen, we have to look at our wives. You are responsible. You will, you will be asked. The ladies, they will not be asked. When they die, there is a heavy situation in questioning. It's very heavy. Companions, they were desperate when they heard this. Very, very, very fearful. They had the very fear of God. They had the fear of day of judgment, the fear of these angels for this questioning. They question you about everything. And you will see every good, every atom of a bad deed, an atom of a good deed. And you will judge yourself, finally. That is what the Morana say. That you see your life like a video uh, but the six dimensions, not only three dimensions, six dimensions from all sides at the same time. You see everything from your life and you judge. But Smolana is saying, and so you are responsible. They will ask you, what did you do with your, with your family? Did you give them Islam? Or did you give them what I gave to you? in which way you gave it, how I said to give Islam, did I say to, to put it in the hard way, in a hard way, to put Islam in the hard way, did I say that and the Prophet, my Habib, he said to you, make it hard, or he said, make it easy. Don't make it hard, make it easy. He said, make it easy. And he said to spread Islam through what is written in the Quran also, I think, or a hadith, I think, Quran, Bil Hikmah. No? Bil Hikmah. With wisdom. What is wisdom? Wisdom is to know to whom you are speaking. To know the situation and to know to whom you are speaking. What is the level or the understanding of <coughs> that when I'm speaking something? Prophet, he had this miracle, he was speaking in his sukha or in his speaking, and all of them, different levels, all of them, they get full, the full thing. Like Maulana say also, he had that. It's like a miracle. When he gave sukha, everyone was saying, this is for me, this is for me, this is for me. All different ones, different levels, different reasons, different situations, but everyone was saying, yeah, this oh, it was just, just for me, you know, this is, uh, just uh, to illustrate this point, and gentlemen, you have to look to your wives carefully, to your roses. And you have to prepare and to work and correct on yourself to be able to look at her and to act with her in a good way, in a lovely way. She must be happy. You have to make her happy. You have to increase her love for you. That is your task. She is normally, generally speaking, dependent on you. You know, you can, you can, the most difficult thing for her is when you separate from her. There's a famous story, but I don't know, I cannot say, no, it's very long also. From Rumi, we may look it up later. Between this Arab couple, from the Arab couple and the, they are quarreling, and there's a whole story, big long story you make. A very interesting, very uh, like a psychological first class, you know, from Jalil Rumi. And there comes a point in that story when he is saying, because she is always discussing, not finishing, <laughs> he makes him really <laughs> down, <laughs> like, you know, flat. <laughs> then he say, I divorce. <laughs> I, I, I divorce you then. 
And then she, then she comes in her arm and she, that is, she's not allowing. At that point, you cannot put, no, no. Divorce, no. It's, it's allowed, Allah gives permission when you cannot carry anymore, when it's really not possible. He said, okay, you have permission, but he hates it. It's a halal action and he hates it. He gives permission, but he hates it. You want to do something what Allah hates? <laughs> and she is, at that point, she comes up and she says, no, no, I'm not accepting divorce. Don't divorce, she said. Then she is, she is not allowed because that she cannot carry. Because everything with that holy marriage, she is dependent. She knows that. It's a very terrible thing. It's a very destructive, very terrible thing. Now, every, very modern, everyone uh, marrying, divorcing, marrying, divorcing. But it's a terrible thing. She is dependent. She may quarrel, she may this and that and this and that, but she, you must not separate, you know? If, except if she's asking, if she is, cannot carry anymore, it's also the case we have today. That's generally speaking in, the, in a good way, but today we are in a crazy world, completely. You know, and it's often the case that she doesn't, that she doesn't wa want for some reason. And if she is, if she is, cannot carry, she cannot carry for some reasons, objectively she cannot carry then then you you have to set her free then you must also be gentleman and you must say if it's really if there's no love let's say sometimes it happens that the love is finishing uh, then you must say okay you cannot keep her against her will also mm -hmm. this is all islam gentlemen not this funny muslim thing what they are trying to practice and, and doing. No, this is Islam. To be a gentleman, to be soft, not to divorce, to carry, to do, to look after your roses, and to be beautiful. There is a teaching of the Prophet. The Muslims are not looking to the teaching of the Prophet. No, never. They beat their wives, Oriental people, Muslim people, also Germans. And the companions they asked because there was an ayat in the Quran of beating the wife and she is so rebellious and never stopping was uh, uh, there's a verse and then they said yeah how we are what, what, can we can we beat our wives is it okay really and he was saying yes yes you can you take your miswak you know like this it's very thin but you cannot see it and then on the feet yeah make it for yourself also so that Like this, you may beat. It's not easy to catch the feet also. She may run away. When she runs away, your anger is finished. <laughs> then you have a mismark. Another holy one, he said, yes, you can punish, you can throw a rose. Oh, gentlemen, <laughs> by your power, you may, you may do this, no. And the prophet said so many things. And he was saying, when the companions, they asked, who is the best one from us? They wanted to know. And the Prophet was saying, so was the best one of you, he'd make it, keep it general. He said, the best one of you is who has the best Iman, best belief, biggest belief, true belief, best one. And, but they were not satisfied, the companions, they said, yeah, uh, who is, who has the most Iman from us? They want to know a name, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Prophet was saying, the most Iman has that one who is most kind to his wife. <laughs> Stuff or not, uh, ask someone. <laughs> kind means you are soft. First of all, and you carry something, you carry. If 
Jeez. Shouting to you, carry, carry, who are you? You are what you are. And your ego is is earning this, which he is throwing, as we said at the beginning, there's a reason. There was a sheikh. He was a sheikh. Perfect sheikh, a saint. And he was having totally harmony in his house. That is the first step of a saint that he makes harmony in his house. After the house, may go to the neighbor. And then on. Until big sofa of 20,000, no problem. But he is first making harmony in this house. That saint, that change, one day he was praying and there was his boy, and his boy was making adapsis with his father, saying something. So I don't know what he said. Maybe you idiot or something. And the sheikh, he was immediately getting up, going to the voodoo room, renewing his voodoo, praying to Rakats, and asking forgiveness. Not for the boy or for something, for himself. Because he knew exactly and immediately that this boy, he said this to him because he never said such a thing, because there was something wrong with him. He said, you must know that there is something wrong with you, and you have to change, and you have to look after your roses before she is finishing. You know, she is the rose is also getting how you say, perfect? Huh? Yes. Yes, yes. Finishing sometimes. It's not no, you have to <laughs> don't lose your time, no, no. When she is there, you have to show her that you love her. Be gentle. May think of about it. Be open. Don't be like a wood. Like a dry wood. No. You're a dry wood? No. No. What she does with dry wood? She will try to smash it. <laughs> she takes an axe. And try to no, you have to don't say I am don't have the courage to open myself because I know if I show myself she is beating. Be happy if she beat her. It's good, very good. Yes. Put it out. No problem. She will love it in the end. Yes. Show her passion. She is beautiful. You have to show her the passion. Not like you would. You are not what? You are a human being with a soul. You have passion. It is from Allah. It's, a, it's a attributes from Allah Almighty. Meant for marriage. Yes? We have to speak with them. Rana was teaching this. Sit with your family. Speak with them about something. Be nice. Be happy. Make it some hours. Some hours, I have not, not all the time, no. Three hours at least, three hours with your family. Eight hours for Allah, eight hours for your job, eight hours for resting. In the resting part, there's a family part. That's Sharia, that's what Sharia says. Just for a direction. May Allah help us, inshallah. Open us, make us courage, give us courage to open ourselves in front of our trust. It's a trust. It's a trust. You have a trust. Your wife is also a trust. Nothing belongs to us. Nothing. No. Everything belongs to Allah. 
It's not, no, it's not yours or something. No, no. Malikul Mulk. He will, everything belongs to Allah. Your body also belongs to Allah. It's not yours. No. You cannot do what you want with the money. You have to give uh, rechenschaft. You are responsible. Responsible, you must answer. What did you do with your body? It's terrible. It's terrible. For me. Yes. May Allah help us, inshallah. As my first change was always saying, come out of your icebox. <laughs> it was in the beginning years of Sufism in Berlin. With our funny Shay, he was also from Austria. Shay Isa. Come out of your icebox. <laughs> he was saying to people also. <laughs> yes, we are sitting in the icebox. No way. We have to get. Come out and be easy and open. And to make. Uh, what's the name? Trust. What is the name? Uns. Uns. Uns means familiarity. Familiarity. It's familiar. That's the name. Familiarity. Familiar. This uns. Familiarity. Be familiar. You know. And this is going more. It is going with your wife. It's the most, the most familiar thing in your life. You can say. It's with your sheikh, actually, in reality. Secondly, with your wife. Or with the husband. Wa min Allah tawfiq bi hurmat al-Fatiha.